There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Davenport, Iowa is the largest and most populated of the Quad Cities. And because of that, it's going to be hard to figure out where you want to live. I'm going to take you into the map today and show you exactly everything you need to know about Davenport, Iowa. Hey there, Alex Skeen here. And if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play in the Quad Cities, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And honestly, guys, we get so many calls, texts, emails from folks like you who are either moving or relocating to the area, and we absolutely love it. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, heck, send the Pony Express if you want to, we're here for you. Like I said, Davenport, Iowa is the largest of the tire quad cities, and because of that, it's going to be hard to figure out where you want to live. I'm going to dive right into the map to show you exactly everything I know about Davenport to help you make that decision. So let's go. What you're looking at now is a map of the entire Quad Cities. As you can tell, the outline of Davenport is right here, and it is the largest by landmass and population. To give you some bearings on where you're at right now, this is Davenport. Right over here is Bettendorf. Pleasant Valley and Leclerc. On this side of the, the river, you got Rock Island, you got Moline, East Moline, Silvis, and then a few others around the outside. So you can kind of tell that Davenport is really king of the Quad Cities. What you want to know about if you're moving here is probably where you're going to shop to get your groceries, get your clothing, all of that. So I'm going to show you a few of the shopping areas that may be of interest to you if you're thinking about moving into Davenport. So I'm going to start off by getting rid of that panel there and then zooming on in. All right, so there's not very many shopping centers in the Davenport area, but there are a few. To highlight the first one, the largest is really over here on Elmore and 53rd. Another great shopping area is right here in the center, this is where the mall is. And we'll get into the details in a little bit, but that's where the mall is. And then on the west end, you got what's over here, the Walmart and a few other stores on that side. And then maybe a small one here, there's a Hy-Vee over here. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a area of where to think about when you're thinking about purchasing into location of where you're gonna be. But if we dive in a little bit closer, we can take a look at I-74, you got 53rd Street, and you got Elmore. This whole corridor along Elmore is the busiest and where you're going to find most of the shopping in Davenport. You got your Lowe's, you got your Home Goods. If you move on up, you got Target, Best Buy. All those big brand name box stores are right along here, and that includes Walmart as well. And it's, you know, the place that I typically go to because you have all of those choices. You also got a lot of food places, um, say Portillo's Hot Dogs, which if you know, if you're not from Chicago, Portillo's is a Chicago chain. They just recently moved in here. I absolutely like them. Um, Costco just moved in not too long ago. So that's in that little quarter there. So this is by far the largest area to go shopping. And it's the one that I typically go to most often, but it's not the only place. So let's go ahead and zoom back out switch over here and like i said i already told you about this right in the center here along brady street is the mall and more shopping around that area north park mall is this entire area and to be honest guys it's not a lot going on there i feel like this is a trend throughout the nation that malls just don't have a lot of people or a lot of shops in them anymore and north park is kind of like that you still do have some i mean it's not completely you know nothing in it but it's not up to its prime of when it was back in the day and everybody went to the mall to get their stuff so you have stuff like dillard's there um rc brazilian steakhouse which actually is pretty good if you ever been to a steakhouse before a uh, brazilian steakhouse if you haven't the way that works is they bring out 
basically skewers of steak and they cut the steak off right in front of you. You basically get unlimited amount of steak, chicken, any kind of meat that they have until you tell them to stop. I find it just kind of a fun experience. And we have that, you know, right in the mall at RC Brazilian Steakhouse. I wouldn't say it's the best Brazilian Steakhouse I've ever been to, but we have it here in Davenport and that's the only one that I know of locally. So it's, it's a good option, but I digress on that. But yeah, the mall, you know, big shopping area, but it, you also have other things around the outside. You have like smart Lexus of the quad cities, which speaking of that, I kind of have a funny story about that. So when I first moved to the quad cities, I was really into getting into some of these networking events, um, trying to meet some people, you know, spread professionalism, all of that. And one of the groups that was I partook in it was the Quad City Chambers Young Professionals Group. So they go to different businesses to host it at different businesses to promote that business and, and all of that. And one of them was actually the Lexus dealership right here. And I just found it interesting that we were in the Lexus dealership and I was drinking, you know, a bush light next to these, all these fancy cars playing bingo. I think they had something like that. Maybe it was trivia. I don't remember, but I just felt it was kind of an ironic, you know, scene drinking a beer inside the Lexus dealership. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny, but that is one story about the Lexus dealership that I've experienced here in, in the Quad Cities. But like I said, this is a big shopping area. You got Tyson's. Um, it looks like Tyson's, but I've been told it's pronounced Tyson's. If I'm wrong, comment down below to let me know I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's Tyson's. And you got some shop or uh, food places. You got a Mexican place here, Papa John's Pizza. Um, you know, a whole bunch of different things going on. And it's pretty expansive as to what is around this area. But if we go switch over here again and we zoom on out, we got another shopping area, a little bit smaller. But if you're on this side of the city, it's a good thing to have it here because to drive all the way to Elmore 53rd, it's going to be a little bit of a trip. So we do have another Walmart located over here. It's not as big as Walmart on Elmore, but it is a good option if you need to go to that. But you also have things like Culver's, California Pho. Um, you got a U-Haul there if you're moving. That might be something to take note of, that we do have a U-Haul on that side of the Quad Cities as well. And then you got Hy-Vee, which if you're not from like the Midwest-ish, Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, all that area, I'm not sure how much they cover. But Hy-Vee is a local um, grocery chain that is really kind of nice. I will tell you that their prices are a little bit expensive, but they're always conveniently located close to neighborhoods. So I go there fairly often just because it is more convenient to get to them. And, you know, you have one right here. And then, like I said before, if I zoom out again and we go down. This is another little shopping area. You got the Hy-Vee grocery, grocery store down here as well. So... If you're thinking about moving to Quad Cities, those are kind of the locations of, you know, the big shopping centers where you can go and get everything that you really need. Now, there's a few more sporadically spread out through the city, but those are the main hubs of what I would call the hubs, at least. But maybe that's not as important to you. Maybe like entertainment type stuff is more important to you. If you're looking for entertainment, you got a few options here. Um, first one I like to talk about is golfing. So there's a few golf courses. First one on the West end, you have e golf course, which I actually just got to golf at that. Um, the realtor board held a golfing event. Um, we got to go spend some time, do some networking with some realtors there. It's a really nice course. I've never actually golfed it until just the other day, but yeah, it was super nice day. Got to go around 18 holes. Great, great place out in the here. There's not a lot of homes around it. I mean, you got Wisconsin Ave, you got this Emice Court here, but for the most part, there's not a ton of homes around it, which if you want to live on the golf course, this may not be the place for you. But if you do, we'll go ahead and zoom on out. Um, 
right over here, Crow Valley Golf Club uh, may be a better option for you because they have homes all along the edges of the golf course itself. Now, these homes are pretty expensive um, in comparison. This is a more um, expensive area in general, but if you're around the golf course, it's going to be even more expensive. So keep that in mind. If your budget doesn't constitute that, then maybe this isn't the area you want to be. But it is another option to go golfing. And we got a few more. So if we go down here, Duck Creek City Park, it is a city park, but it also has a golf course as well. You can see it um, right along here. I have golfed this one before. It's a great place. The one time I did go golfing there, they had recently had a windstorm. So I only got to play nine of the holes. But from what I experienced, it's a pretty nice course. But if you're not into golfing at all, the Duck Creek um, area, just this general area, this park, is pretty good just to walk down along the stream here. Um, it kind of feels like you're out in the wilderness a little bit. So just check it out, even if you're not into the golfing scene. But another, I'm on the golf course trend right now, but another one is Red Hawk. Uh, this is a fairly cheap course to go to. In fact, it's the first golf course I ever golfed on ever. Um, I did this when I was an intern and money was a little bit tight. So we went over there. Um, it is just a small, you know, nine hole golf course. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be your full 18, but it is an option if you're on a budget and you want to go ahead and do some golfing. This might be a good option for you. But if you're not into golfing one bit, like I said, you can go to that park, but there's other parks around. And I've talked about these before. Vandeveer is a good one. I really enjoy Vandeveer. It's smack dab right in the center of Vandeveer, or right in the center of Davenport, excuse me. And they have a lot going on as far as, you know, flowers. Um, we'll go ahead and jump on in, honestly. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if we spin around, see, I mean, this garden it's beautiful and they change it up like right now this is a lot of roses and they keep that going every single year but they put a lot of different annuals in there you have the conservatory so this is open year round you can go on in there take a look at some of the tropical plants they got going on in there they got um, like during the winter time they have uh, Christmas mu <laughs> Christmas music Christmas lights in there as well as a lot of poinsettias going on. So it's a really cool place to go to year round. And then, you know, during the summer, you can come out, hang out by the pond. A lot of ducks and geese like to hang around there. So if you like to see, you know, waterfowl swimming, that's a good place to go. But this park is fairly large. I wonder how far it will let me go. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead. I don't know where it's taking me. But yeah, you can look down here, like this alley of trees, really kind of cool. Let's see if I can zoom out again. Where did it take me? Oh, uh, grab my little guy. Right through here, you got like this big fountain, which this picture shows it, which is kind of cool. Obviously, they close that up during the winter, but you go there in the summer, it's really kind of a relaxing place to go. A lot of the homes that are surrounding that area are going to be older, like 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. You see a lot of cool architecture around in these neighborhoods, which is kind of a cool thing if that's what you're into. So keep that in mind if you want to be close to that park, that the homes around there are going to be a little bit older. But we have other parks as well. Um, Sunderbrook, which one of my commenters told me I was saying it incorrectly. So if I'm ever saying something incorrectly, let me know, because if I don't get told, I really don't know. So I was told it's pronounced Sunderbrook. So if you're that person that commented, thanks for letting me know. I really appreciate it. But Sunderbrook Park is an awesome park as well. This is kind of, quote unquote, outside the city. So you really do get that um, country feel, wilderness kind of feel. You have all of this tree line you can you know, walk through um, the main park parking lot is down here. They do have a few things like there's like a uh, the American Ninja Warrior course, like right through here now. Um, maybe it's there. I don't remember. 
it's been a little while since I've been there. But they do have some really cool things going on there. So that's another option. Keep in mind if that's something that's important to you. Now, technically over here is Westlake, which is technically outside of the city limits, but it's not that far. So if you want to live on the west side, this is an option to do some recreational stuff. And recently they've actually renovated these lakes. Now, they're not quite filled back up, but they did dig it out, built some retention ponds, and they're letting it fill back in as we speak. So it's going to be really nice when they get filled back in. They're going to have all these new things going on there. So definitely something that's kind of cool. And don't get confused. They do have different lake names. You got Railroad Lake, Lake of the Hills, Lamboc Lake. Tell me how to say that. I'm not 100% sure on that one either. But they are separated lakes. Um, but the whole area is just called West Lake Park. So something that's really kind of cool to you know go and Go and see if that's something that you're into. But uh, anyway, other entertainment type stuff is um, Putnam Museum Science and Science Center. This is a really good place to take the kids. They do a lot of educational type stuff. Um, really cool place to go and look at. Um, and downtown, I think I've talked about this before, but the Figgy Art Museum is amazing to go to. I'm going to flash up a video. Me and my girlfriend just recently went and one of the exhibits is really kind of trippy as you're seeing right now. It just is messing with your head. And all it is, is a piece of thread stapled to each side of the walls. And it just keeps going back and forth and it changes colors and it just messes with your head. So go check that out if that's something that you're into. But this is in downtown, which is basically the biggest entertainment area they have different events that go on down there, mainly along um, the Leclerc Park here, along the riverfront. Uh, they have their red, white, and boom fireworks that goes on down there. You have Modern Woodman Park, which is where the river bandits play. So if you want to get close to that city life downtown field, this is where I'd recommend going. Um, just not too far outside of downtown is, again, a lot of the older homes. And Something I'd like to mention uh, in general, now this is in general, there's a lot of caveats to this, but in general, the closer you get to the river, the older the homes are going to be. Uh, that's basically because when they found a Davenport, that's where the people are going to be. And as you move north, that's where the new homes are going to be, just because that's the natural expansion from the river is to move north. And so in general, that's the progression, older homes closer to the river, newer homes moving up towards I-80 and beyond I-80. But as far as more entertainment, um, Village of East Davenport, great place to go to, a lot of boutique shops. Um, let's dive on in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you got the mound, which is like a bar. I And I think they have a grill of sorts. They always have a few different options. It seems like they can't keep somebody there, but they always have some kind of food option. Um, you got over here, the Village Corner Deli, which I gotta say is my favorite place to go get a sandwich. So check it out. They always have a ton of options. And me and my coworkers in my previous job, were trying to challenge ourselves to try every single sandwich. They accomplished it. I didn't quite get the entire menu still working on it but regardless i haven't had anything that's bad there so if you're going there go there during lunch because they're not actually open during supper time so check that out but like i said you got all these boutique type um shopping centers or shopping whatever you call them um so you go down there just walk around um Take a look at the sites, see what's going on. Um, a lot of these have changed since they took this back in 2021, which is kind of interesting. But 11th, Pre 11th Street Precinct is kind of known for their tenderloins. I really enjoy them as well. So if you're into tenderloins, check that out as well. But I digress on that as well. I've been saying as well a lot. If I get annoying to you, I, I, I repeat myself a lot. So just, you know, so you know, that's just how I am sometimes. But India, anyway, 
the village of East Davenport is over here. McClellan Heights is a historical district of homes that you'll hear quite a bit about if you're into that old architecture. It used to be a um, camp for Civil War people. And when they all left, there was a lot of big debate back in history, not anytime soon. But back in history, they wanted to make that into a state park. They ended up developing it, and it's a bunch of big, older homes that are really kind of cool to look at, but they're all on the hills about that steep. So if you're looking at McClellan Heights, you like that old architecture, just know your yard is going to be a pretty steep hill. So um, as far as other amenities, one thing that a lot of people talk about is hospitals. So one hospital is Genesis. Um Right here, it's kind of somewhat centered into the city. You can see um, you actually have two. So you got this Genesis over here, and then you have Genesis right here as well. But they're both kind of in line with each other along here. If you're wanting to get another option that's not Genesis, you actually have to go over here um, to, let me switch it here. Um, Unity Point. So Unity Point is technically in Bettendorf, but it's right on the edge of Davenport, Bettendorf line. So you got different options. Genesis and Unity Point are the biggest two in the area. So, you know, if you're if you're further north, you're going to be a little bit further away from a hospital just because you got Unity Point um, right here. You have Genesis, and Genesis. Um, right there and there, which are all further south of most of that northern Davenport area. So if that's important to you, keep that in mind that you will have to be living further south into Davenport if you do want to be closer to the um, hospital system. Now, this kind of reminded me, I this was a shopping area that I didn't really talk about, and I don't know why. It's kind of left my, my brain at the time, but this is the Brady Street Corridor as well and 53rd. One thing I like to mention is the Steel Plow Burger Company. Honestly, their food is okay. What I really like about them, let me see if I can find a picture of it, is their ice cream. Now, I mean, that kind of just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Look at that thing. They have these ice cream cups that are just over the top. They put a whole cookie in there. I mean, if you want ice cream, this is a good place to go. No, don't forget out my Whitey's. I love Whitey's, um, which is just down the street here, right along 53rd as well. But if you want something a little over top, check out Steel Plow because they do ice cream a little bit over the top. But again, this is another shopping area. You have your Menards here as well. So... A lot of options. I hope this really helped you figure out where you kind of want to be just with the amenities that are around. And if you want to learn more, check out this video here because I cover just a little bit more about Davenport.